Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Recreating. So today we have another custom figure review. Stay tuned. All right guys, so if you guys don't know who this guy is, this is Wick from the TV show Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, The Next Mutation. Uh, I know that um, series wasn't really popular in the US. I think by that time the Power Rangers were more popular. So I think people went that way towards the Power Rangers and Ninja Turtles because this was right after Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Part 3. Um, so nobody really cared about Turtles too much. Don't get me wrong, I still love Ninja Turtles. Uh, I, I still care for them, but um, I didn't really care for this show. Anyways, uh, if you guys haven't seen my last video, which is the leader of this guy, because this is a sidekick of Lord Dragon or Dragon Lord, uh, I did a review on Dragon Lord. If you guys haven't seen that, go check that out. I go more into depth uh, about these characters on that video. Anyways, with that being said, this is another. Um, this is the same client that wanted the Lord Dragon. Um, and he wanted his sidekick, of course, so uh, I made him the sidekick that he wanted. He also wanted it to be able to stand up, so I made him to be able to stand up on his own. So he stands up pretty good, actually. Uh, as far as articulation goes, uh, he kicks out that much, bend and knee. He could turn or rotate his feet. Uh, same thing with this one. Uh, you has a bit of a swivel on the waist. You could turn here and there. The reason why, because he has all these spikes on his back. <laughs> this figure has the most spikes I've ever done. I don't think I'm ever going to do another figure with so many spikes. That's the reason why this figure took so long is because of all those spikes. Uh, when you sculpt with epoxy clay, uh, you do have to wait until each one dries up because if, you, if you're if you messing with one of these or you start sculpting these guys and you start sculpting something else, there's a good chance that you're going to knock one of these spikes off or bent one of these spikes. So that's the reason why it took so long. Anyways, continue with the articulation. His arm goes up this much. You could bend that much and you could rotate his hand all the way around. Uh, his head goes that much, that much. You could look down that much. And you can look up that much and also his mouth does open because that's what he requested for him to do his mouth does open that much so it's a pretty good amount um so yeah uh this figure was pretty cool and uh i think i got him pretty freaking close to what he looked like as a puppet and this is what he's supposed to look like so i got him pretty close uh he is a bit taller than than what so he's not really screen accurate as far as uh, his height. Uh, his, he's supposed to be a little bit smaller. But if I made him that much smaller, I don't think I'll be able to get as much detail as I could. Especially in the mouth area and uh, anything else really. Because if I was to make him a little bit more smaller than this, uh, I don't think he'll come out as good and as accurate to that actual character as he did here. Um, so... Yeah, anyways, this also, I couldn't be able to uh, articulate his tail because uh, uh, the figure that I used to make this this figure, um, the the butt part of this figure uh, was really, really thin. So for me to get, um, for me to get a joint in there was merely impossible. So I couldn't get the tail to actually uh, have any articulation whatsoever. But I, I think it looks pretty good because, I mean, most of the time, if you guys see the show, if you guys ever watch the show, you guys could see that this guy's sitting down most of the time. He's actually sitting down. The only time he's actually standing up is when they have the camera like halfway here because they don't want to show actually the bottom half because he is a puppet in the show he's supposed to look like a dragon in the show actually like an actual dragon but you could obviously see that he's a puppet um so anyways uh yeah so that's basically it with this figure i really like the way he came out i'm actually i'm pretty happy with the way he came out uh hopefully the client is happy because he's very very picky <laughs> he is by far the pickiest client i've ever had <laughs> i mean i get it these figures are not aren't cheap, but you guys got to understand that I can't get every single little thing that you want into a figure. And you guys got to understand that it's not because I don't want to do it. It's because I cannot do it. <laughs> uh, 
I want to give you as much as I can into a figure, but you guys gotta understand that there's limits to some stuff. Anyways, I, I think it came out pretty great. It looks, I think it looks a lot like that character. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. That's gonna wrap it up for now. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching it. If you enjoyed this episode, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe because if you guys do, guess what? You guys will see me on the next one. Peace.